All right. So it seems like uh, these guys are actually becoming a big shot. Yeah, they're becoming a big shot currently because uh, a lot of people are actually talking about them. Now, uh, you see, the problem here is that a lot of you guys, mostly those of you from the States, you fall for any given story, like any story from uh, your favorite marketer, your favorite YouTuber, or anyone at all. You fall for any stories. And it's bad. It's bad because a lot of times you guys fall victim, but no one seems to actually learn. Well, I have something informative for you guys, which I'm going to be giving you guys. But first, before I go into that, I want to ask a simple question now. I want to ask questions now. Platform that you guys have actually understand or believe to actually be a blessing for you guys, are they still existing? Now, take a look at the, the COTPS. Where is the COTPS right now? You guys actually said it was a blessing and uh, I should stop giving it a bad review. Now it, it, It's pain and it keeps pain and it has been pain for a long time. But now where is it? Where's the COTPS? I don't know. It's, 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 it's gone. It's gone and gone for good. And uh, you guys can do nothing about it. You can get your money back. You can trace them. Nothing. You couldn't find any uh, a lawsuit on them. You have nothing on them. You can't even get to them. And that's why I want you guys to simply understand with all this Ponzi scheme. Yeah, they are Ponzi scheme. They are scam. Because they are only here to actually separate you from your money. Your hard earned money. Money you earned, not online. But you come over and then you put them online and you lose them. How does that sound? It sounds kind of ridiculous. So there are only two things. It's either you play safe or you don't play. That's it. If you continue to play and play without being safe, trust me, you're going to lose all your money and only realize when you lost all your money. So you really, really need to actually play safe. How do you play safe? I'm going to tell you that and that's what I actually have for you guys in this video. Alright? Now, this is not only the COTPS. Other platforms also have actually come, do the same thing and leave. With your money and you are unable to do anything to trace them why it's simply because you have no trace of them you have no one to actually pinpoint for anything so how do you get to them now these are things you need to actually look out for and that's why you actually need to play safe all right they are ponzi scheme no doubt almost 90 percent of every online and DeFi investment are ponzi scheme and rock pools now i actually make a video warning you guys about this platform earlier on yeah i made a video i told you guys the the dangers just simply pointing out the red flag at first telling you knew all about the scam it's a new scam if you like it or not regardless it's a scam i'm, I'm telling you right now it's it's a ponzi scheme you need to be careful. It's a Ponzi scheme. You should know that. And that was what I actually want you guys to understand. When I made that video, a lot of people actually went over to the comment section as usual. Yeah, it's as usual because it happens a lot. A lot of time. Every single time. And a platform promise you guys an amazing ROI when I give my review on it and tell you guys the dangers of it. You all claim to be supporting the platform and telling me it's, it's a blessing for you guys to earn no i know most of you are actually doing that because you are high marketers you're youtubers you're doing this because you want other people to actually uh, uh invest you're supporting this platform but that's bad because this is a ponzi scheme and without being told you should understand that they are ponzi scheme so i created that video a lot of people said all sorts of things in the comment section which I don't really care about because I'm out here to actually educate you guys on the dangers and also show you guys how you can actually make money in legit ways without being rugged or without being scammed by any Ponzi scheme or by any rug pool in the DeFi or the investment space. That's it. All right. All right. Now, uh, with that being said, we are on the stable funds interface. Now, I know Stable funds has to do with the wallet, right? We they created for you guys. Now, if you want to play safe, this is, it. This is what the video is all about. Okay? How you could actually play safe? 
And also guys, let me inform you. Let me inform you guys. I want to also tell you guys exactly when this platform may actually crash. I'll be there. I'll be there and I want to be bringing the information to you guys. So if you want to keep getting information, maybe you're investing in this, you want to keep getting information, just remind me in the community and trust me, I'm going to tell you how this platform will all play out. I'm going to show you how it will end. That's me for you. You can you, you can check me out. Check me out. The, the, the links are in the comment section of every video. So you can check the community, join the community, get my contact and you can... Uh, Maybe chat me up to remind me to update you guys on the platform always. I'll do that. It's no big deal. I'll do that. Okay? So, uh, that's it. If you want to actually understand the date, every single thing about this platform, how it's going to go down, play out, just let me know. And uh, now, my advice to you guys. Now, I'm talking about playing safe. You see, this platform actually have a wallet. I really urge you guys not to actually save your crypto in the wallet because... You're investing in the platform. If you invest also in the wallet, you get to lose twice. Now, any money you have, you better don't invest it into the wallet. No, don't do that. It's a highly risky as well. Whatever you want to invest, invest it in the system. If you're still hell bent on investing your money into the sponsor scheme, just invest it into the system, and uh, do not keep it. Uh, uh, do not keep an extra money in the wallet. No, don't do that. Mind you. Don't do that because <laughs> what I can see right now, you all can see it and no one is actually telling you this. No YouTuber, nobody will tell you this because most of them actually been paid to promote while others have been paid to do an AMA and no one is telling you. But you know it, even if paid to do a promotion, I need to inform you guys because you guys are the reason I'm here. Alright, so uh, you need to understand this. The wallet also pulls a high risk. So please, be very careful with that. It's just a way they actually uh, discover to actually make you guys keep more of your money with them. My money will actually be with them even if you don't invest it. <laughs> okay? And currently now, you've been hearing about hacking of Trust Wallet and uh, Tron Link Pro. And a lot of wallets are actually being hacked right now. So you need to be very, very careful. This wallet is not decentralized. In fact, even decentralized wallets are actually being hacked. So this wallet, I don't think it's decentralized. Trust me, it's not. So please, you need to actually be informed and be warned. Okay? That's one. Secondly, avoid compounding. <laughs> avoid compounding in the system. It's also bad and it poses a high risk as well. And uh, uh, that's it. Avoid compounding, okay? Do not keep your money into this for a long time. No, it's already getting old. It's currently around a month old right now. A lot of time. So, so what you need to understand is that it's actually been strong in the market, just like the COTPS. The COTPS actually lasted long, and the IP Cloud as well lasted long. Why? Because they needed more people to trust them and come into the system. So these guys are only waiting for you guys to come more and I trust them a lot before they rock. So you need to be careful right now because it's getting older and a lot of people are actually coming in because just like I said at the beginning of this video, it's actually gaining more momentum. So you really, really need to be careful right now, okay? For those of you who have actually made profit, I want you to separate your profit from your capital. It's a safe one. Trust me, it's a safe one. Okay? It's plain safe. Separate your profit from your capital. Then you could, if you feel you want to still invest, you can put in your profit and keep your capital down. Do not compound. Do not compound. Guys, there's a later time. And please. And please, this is from bringing people into this. Okay? Now, I know a lot of you may be thinking that since there is no referral commission, it actually poses to be legit. No! There are other risk analysis you should do rather than just uh, basing on a commission, referral commission. A lot of platforms are actually generating new scheme right now. And they want to always look convincing. So they know that uh, when uh, they don't put referral commission, they, they rather prefer doing their advert 
by themselves like doing uh, social media ads just the way this platform is doing on uh, YouTube right here yeah there's an ads on this platform right here on YouTube by a certain Michael I want you all to understand that that doesn't mean that there is a legitimacy here on this platform or this platform actually poses legitimacy not at all okay now finally finally now all I want I just want you guys to do a simple thinking here okay uh, let's just think about this now do you think that uh, Michael actually bought uh, thousands worth of Bitcoin when it was just 1.14 cent as low as that do you think Michael actually accumulated a lot of Bitcoin because I don't know I don't know I I want you all to analyze this because if he had accumulated such an amount of Bitcoin at that price definitely right now we shouldn't be hearing about uh, Elon Musk or James Bezos we should actually be hearing Michael Stable right now because Michael Stable should actually be the richest guy right now I don't know what you think guys what do you think I want to hear uh, this idea from you guys tell me let me know what you think in the comment section tell me what do you think that Michael actually accumulate such amount of Bitcoin at a lower price because if he had he should definitely be the richest guy right now so tell me what you think guys let's uh, interact tell me exactly what you think in the comment section let me hear from you all I want to I want to actually hear let it be interactive okay now guys uh, that was all for this video I want you to understand that as for the date and time when this system is actually going down I will be here to tell you guys you can you can follow me up follow me up so I can keep you guys updated okay okay that's it for this one guys I really hope I see you guys in the next one and that's it peace out